Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. So today's video will be basically taking a look once again at this particular device. Now, if you don't know what this particular device is, it's a GameCube jumper box kind of. It basically takes the GameCube ports and puts them over to USB. Now, my device supports PC natively, but the biggest problem that I found with my device is that it doesn't support rumble through PC mode. After doing a little bit of research, I did find that you can enable the Wii U mode by special driver. Then doing a little bit more research, I found out this driver will also work for the Nintendo official adapter that only came out for a very limited run and they're very, very rare. So if you manage to have one, let me know down in the comment box below because I'd love to probably buy it from you because I don't have one and I was quite disappointed. But this device has been a pretty good substitute for Nintendo of making very limited runs for the official one. If you want to buy it, I'll leave you guys a link down in the description box below so you guys can get your own version of the one that I have. Highly recommend it, but I can't say much more about it because it's just overall pretty damn good of a device. So with that said folks, let's basically jump over to my PC and show you guys on what you're going to need to do. So the first thing you guys are going to want to do is plug the device into your computer so Windows can see it. Windows will try to basically install a driver but it will not be the right driver. Which will be an indication by Dolphin not working with the device still. The reason why this device is not working even with a driver from Windows installing is because it's actually the wrong driver that Microsoft assumes that it should be. So to be able to pull this off correctly, you're going to go to a website that will uninstall the driver easily for you and install the proper driver to allow Dolphin to talk to the device correctly. To able to download the software correctly, you're going to want to come down to this link, press on it and let the download link basically start to download. Click on the link and you should get a software that looks like this. Now I have devices here because I've already enabled list all devices up in the top but if you don't do that you'll basically get that. So list all devices and you're going to be looking for something by the name of WUP-028. This is the device that we just plugged into the computer. Now you're going to see a weird looking driver here and this is what Windows default thinks what the device needs to use. So what you're going to do is hit that uh, install driver and you're going to install the proper driver to enable this to work with Dolphin correctly. So basically we're going to let this install. Very simple as that guys. And from this we're done with the software. So let's jump over to Dolphin now. So what you need to do from this point is head into GameCube settings. What you're going to want to do is go to every single port and set it to GameCube for Wii U adapter. Now the reason why you can do this to every single one and you don't have to speculate to what port goes where is because the software knows what port should belong in each spot automatically. So you don't have to do any special configuration other than if you click on that uh, you're going to get a GameCube uh, rumble feature on and off and simulate DK bongles. And that's it for this particular tutorial video. I don't know if I forgot to basically mention, but you do want to have both USBs plugged into your computer for this device. If you only have one plugged in, you'll only be able to use half of the device. And one is a main crucial plugging to make sure this device works. So if you have one plugged in, but not the main one plugged in, this device will unfortunately not work for you folks. I am hoping to bring out a Mac video for this very soon folks, so please sit tight for that video. Uh, it's going to take me a little bit of research because as far as I can see, this particular software only supports PCs right now. So that video will be coming. If you guys know if there's a method to get this working on Mac, let me know down in the comment box below. On that side note, if this video did work for you folks, let me also know down in the comment box below. If you enjoyed the video for today, remember to smack that subscribe button, smack that like button, and we'll see you guys in the next one.